you know what roadies happened very randomly and i never i've never seen roadies in my life ठीक है मुझे ये भी नहीं पता था रोडीज है क्या मैंने कभी देखा नहीं था बट माई बॉय फ्रेंड एट द टाइम ही वॉज अ बिग रोडीज फैन आई वॉज वर्किंग इन एक्सिस बैंक सो आई एम आई डिड माई ग्रेजुएशन फ्रॉम सिम्बाइस एंड आई डिड माई एम बी ए इन फाइनेंस एंड आई वॉज प्लेस इन एक्सिस बैंक इन आर एन डी डिपार्टमेंट एंड आई वॉज हेटिंग एंड रेडिंग द जॉब टू बी ऑनेस्ट बिकॉज देर वॉज नथिंग मच टू डू यू जस्ट सिटिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ लॉक्ड इन फ्रंट ऑफ अ कंप्यूटर ऑल डे हाँ थोड़ा शादी वादी के लिए प्रेशर अभी बहुत ज्यादा होने लग गया है तो वो एक जगह है जहाँ पे वी आर नॉट सींग आई टू आई राइट नाउ आई न्यू वन थिंग मुझे इंडस्ट्री तो छोड़ के नहीं जानी है आई लव दिस इंडस्ट्री देर आर स्टोरीज आई वॉन्ट टू टेल एंड एकदम से कोई मुझे डायरेक्ट करने देगा नहीं और एकदम से मैं प्रोड्यूस कर सकूँ वैसा भी मेरे पास ना ही एक्सपीरियंस है और ना ही रिसोर्सेज हैं सो वॉट यू डू यू वर्क फॉर फिल्म मेकर दैट यू रिस्पेक्ट if 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 the role that i love is offered to me if it has substance if it has a great story if it has a great team working behind it then i'll i'll, I'll stand naked and i won't care hello and welcome everyone welcome to times tv today we have sugana mukherjee with us we are currently seeing her on salpur as shivani Welcome to E-Times TV, Sujana. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Thank you, Sukarna. It's great talking to you. I'm very excited about this talk. <laughs> How did you end up participating in? Uh, you know what? Roadies happened very randomly, and I never, I've never seen roadies in my life. ठीक है मुझे ये भी नहीं पता था roadies है क्या मैंने कभी देखा नहीं था. But my boyfriend at the time, he was a big roadies fan. so he and his friends had gone taken a flight from pune i used to live in pune at the time they had taken a flight to delhi to basically audition for roadies aur usi waqt kya hua tha sare baki jagah ke audition ho chuke the sirf delhi bacha tha delhi ke baad sirf ek bombay bacha tha audition aur delhi mein ho gaye the dange something happened and they cancelled the whole audition because of it and the, for the first time they introduced online uh, form bharo अब वहां पे जाके नहीं भरोगे आप ऑनलाइन फॉर्म भरोगे तो ऑल ऑफ देम वर फिलिंग द फॉर्म एट होम दे ऑल केम बैक ऑडिशन ऑडिशन हुआ नहीं फिर ये ऑनलाइन फॉर्म भरने लग गए एंड मैंने भी बैठे बैठे ऐसे ही लाइक क्या कर रहे हो आई गॉट इंट्रीक डर्स लाइक तू भी भर दे आ जाए इट वॉज लाइक अ वेरी रैंडम थिंग दैट हैपन्ड इन माई लाइफ एंड आई वॉज द ओनली वन हू गॉट कॉल्ड बैक टू बॉम्बे ऑडिशन एंड सो द फनी पार्ट वॉज वेन आई गॉट सिलेक्टेड आई वेंट आई ऑडिशन did the gd did, did the pi got selected then i came back and i started watching the show aur tab meri fati <laughs> i was like what the hell have i gotten myself into why didn't i watch what the show is all about <laughs> because this sounds like you know it sounds quite dangerous and although i'm quite adventurous but itni bhi adventurous nahi thi ki matlab kaise kaise task kar rahe hain aur hua bhi tha meri naak phooti thi during roadies a lot of things happened but i think us adrenaline rush mein aap रियलाइज नहीं करते हो उस वक्त आने के बाद पता चलता है कि क्या क्या हुआ आपके साथ बट आई थिंक स्टिल ग्लैड दैट एक्सपीरियंस बिकॉज इट रियली काइंड ऑफ गेट्स यू आउट ऑफ योर कंफर्ट जोन एंड आज जो मैं यू नो जो मैं बॉम्बे अकेले आ पाए यू नो फ्रॉम टेकिंग माई ओन हाउस टू टेकिंग केयर ऑफ माई ओन फाइनेंसिस टू एवरी थिंग दैट वी डन सिंस देन वो एक बहुत सही प्लेटफॉर्म था टू डू दैट इवन द ऑडिशन दैट आई गॉड इन द फर्स्ट फ्यू इयर्स वेन आई केम टू बॉम्बे वॉज ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ रोडी यू नो पीपल वुड नो यू दे वुड कॉल यू फॉर ऑडिशन नहीं तो ऐसे तो लोगों को मतलब सही कास्टिंग डायरेक्टर तक पहुंचने के लिए भी लोगों को सालों लग जाते हैं यू नो यहाँ पे इट्स नॉट दैट इजी सो दैट गिव यू दैट इंस्टेंट एटलीस्ट एंट्री टू यू नो द राइट प्लेस इज वेदर इट वर्क आउट और नॉट इज अ डिफरेंट थिंग नॉट एवरीबडी इज यू नो एज स्मार्ट एंड एज कॉन्फिडेंट एज आयुष्मान खुराना लाइक आई थिंक ही इज लाइक द बॉस बिकॉज ही न्यू एग्जैक्टली वॉट इट वॉट ही वॉन्टेड टू डू एंड ही वॉज वन ऑफ दोज फ्यू पीपल हुज नेवर स्केर्ड टू से नो टू थिंग्स देर आर सो मेनी थिंग्स दैट वर ऑफर टू हिम बिफोर हिज फर्स्ट फिल्म बट ही सेट नो टू एवरी थिंग बिकॉज ही न्यू कि मुझे एक ही चांस मिलेगा आई एम अ नो बडी हेयर I've known get a chance again and again to prove myself. So my first step should be like it for me, and I think that's a great lesson to learn from him. I wish like <laughs> I would have learned that myself and taken my time. But I'm also glad that I left things and I didn't overexpose and overdo everything that was coming my way because 
बिकॉज ऑफ दैट आई थिंक आई वॉज एबल टू गेट दिस रोल ऑल्सो बिकॉज इफ आई वॉज सम वन जो टीवी करके या बहुत सारी चीजें करते करते इफ आई वॉज आउट देयर इन द मार्केट यू गेट ओवर एक्सपोज यू गेट ओवर काइंड ऑफ यूटिलाइज एज एन आर्टिस्ट एंड दर सो मच लाइक एक ही इतनी रेंज होती है आपकी कि आप कितना कर लोगे कर करके भी so i think it's a good thing that i took a break because it helps me a to gain perspective and also to bring a kind of freshness to everything that i'll do from now on including baat bhi jo karungi i'm sure you know people will see me with a different this thing like not just susanna because sab mai bilkul bhi desi nahi hu and this is the most desi character that you could think of so that way i think it's great that you know i'm breaking that mold that was created not just for others how they perceive me but also for myself that there are things i can do that this is something i can do uh, if i work hard at it of course so yeah yeah so uh sugana i as we were talking about roti uh tell us uh, what happened uh, after roti like was anything so was always on your mind um i think i would say yes uh i always loved art and in different forms i loved to dance i was always a dancer in fact i learned bharatnatyam i learned all the latin american forms of dancing i used to always perform in my school college so it was always there but i never thought of it as a career honestly because especially mai jahan se aati hu i come from a city called bhilai in chatisgarh which is like the kota of chatisgarh of mp like wahan pe sirf iit iim aur ca ki taiyari hoti hai so you know there are only these three things that you do agar uh, science liya hai to iit iim ya to agar commerce liya hai to tumhe ca banna hai ya um, uh, cs banna hai so there were very limited options respectable options that a person could opt for and i was a i was a good student i was uh, but i also indulged in a lot of co curricular activities I love movies. I love watching movies. I love watching TV, uh, especially when I uh, cross that. जब हमारे यहाँ Star World आ गया था, I remember first time we started getting Star World, and I was introduced to these new sitcoms. Uh, I went crazy. I was like, this is another world, you know, American cinema. And फिर धीरे-धीरे uh, you started getting into international content, and it was just like I was amazed. but i never knew what was the route for it i definitely didn't want to uh uh dedicate my life to it like join a film school or something because i was really not sure if that is something for me also i was never that confident mujhe aisa nahi lagta tha ki main bhai koi bahut hi bala ki mujhe abhi bhi aisa lagta hai i'm average looking girl but i have certain talents you know i have certain talents that uh i think people Uh, appreciated but i never thought of actually banking on it in any way uh, so yeah i was that's why i said ki rodis played a very important part in my life because uh, jab main rodis uh, jab release hua finally when it came on air i was doing a job uh, and i was paid uh, 30 30 grand was 30000 was my salary at the time and mujhe abhi bhi yaad hai mujhe pehla audition aaya tha it was for fair and lovely uh and i cracked that audition it was a two day shoot and i was paid 30k uh, 30000 for per day so i got like for two day shoot i got 60000 i was like ye to bahut sahi hai <laughs> shiji sarkar was directing that ad i still remember he, he was an ad director back then so yeah and i was like yaar agar mujhe mera favorite kaam karne mil raha hai aur uske theek thak paise bhi mil pa rahe hain then why not and then slowly i transitioned i started uh, doing this seriously i went to uh, a lot of places to learn acting also i went to adi shakti i went to act one in delhi jo nk sharma sir pandit ji jahan se manoj bajpai ye sare actors nikal ke aaye huma qureshi uh, so i stayed there in delhi worked under him for 6 months देन यहाँ के मेरे जो गुरु हैं नीरज कबी जी उनके साथ मैंने बहुत टाइम प्ले भी किया उनके साथ बहुत टाइम रिहर्स भी किया आई ट्राई टू वर्क ऑन माई क्राफ्ट एज मच एज आई कुड बिकॉज मैं डांस करती थी गाना गाती थी म्यूजिक वॉज ऑलवेज अ पार्ट ऑफ माई लाइफ बट आई हैड नेवर एक्टेड एक्टेड एज सच इन माई लाइफ बिफोर लाइक मैंने लिटरली जाके कैमरा पे फर्स्ट टाइम ऑडिशन में एक्टिंग की है जितनी भी समझ थी उस हिसाब से सो आई आई न्यू आई हैड टू वर्क ऑन इट एंड या 
and uh, slowly steadily i think i started understanding the small little nuances and how to go about it how to not psych yourself out which is very important kyunki hum log jab pehli baar camera face karte hain ekdam itna work up ho jate hain apne dimag mein ye bhi karna hai wo bhi karna hai ki wo aur camera kya hai wo har cheez pakad leta hai tumhari choti si choti nervousness tumhari choti si agar tum honest nahi ho wo bhi turant pata chal jata hai so i think getting over that fear of uh, being judged a and also being confident in your craft it took a while but i think i slowly gradually got there with time and I'm by working on sets obviously i'm very very working before uh, i was working in access bank so i am uh, i did my graduation from symbiosis and then i did my mba in finance and i was placed in access bank in the r&d department and i was hating and dreading the job to be honest because there was nothing much to do you we were just sitting in front of flopped in front of a computer all day and i worked for what char mahine mein maine job chhod di thi like i had to do one month extra because you had to like after uh, giving in your resignation you have to work for another month before you can leave so char mahine khatam kiye and i was out of it honestly because i was genuinely not enjoying myself and i i just thought agar yahi karna hai zindagi bhar this will be such a dull life to first you so yeah that's how like i got out of it and rodies definitely helped and it gave me that first push at least to be able to go on this path uh so that i having been brought up in an inter- interracial family your parents uh, how was your childhood like Uh, growing up years uh, how was it were they supportive of your uh, dreams and aspirations uh i would say i was very lucky i had one of the best childhoods uh, because it, although i was in a small town but uh, i was surrounded by my dad's family my dad is a very big bengali very close knit family they are like three sisters three brothers i have like zillions of cousins so it was always a lot of fun there was never a dull moment for sure growing up in bhilai but also because of my mother because she constantly worked she was a working woman she designed uh, wedding kitor in europe and then she started her own boutiques here she learned the language she at one point she had like three boutiques in the city that she was running on her own without the language and everything you know she she basically learned her way through she learned how to make dhagra choli to how to make indian clothes all of that she kind of taught herself and she got into it so uh, but and also because of her i would always travel to ukraine from time to time although she is half my mother is half russian half ukrainian but we lived in ukraine only in zaporozhia so i would travel there and wahan pe ekdam se like it was such a big stark difference in the way the society functions and the way the people are and i still remember as a kid every time we would come back uh, summer vacations mein wahan jaate the aur jitne bar wapas aate the i would like literally cry i was like why can't we live here why do we have to go back to india like itna bura lagta tha tab because of the food the kind of people and you feel very free wahan pe itna kuch tha karne ko you know we had our टाउन हाउस फिर वहां पे फार्म होता था फिर वहां पे घूमने के लिए इतनी जगह होती थी जो भिलाई में तुम्हें थोड़ा कंस्ट्रेन रखता था प्लस स्कूल होता था इतनी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज थी यहाँ पे स्कूल में बिकॉज इंडियन एजुकेशन इज वे मोस्ट स्ट्रिक्ट आई फील कि वहां पे तो बच्चे क्लास वन में ही सेवन सेवन एंड हाफ एट ईयर्स में पहली बार क्लास वन जाते हैं और यहाँ पे मैं पांच साल की उम्र में यू नो एक बड़ा सा बस्ता लेके निकल चुके थे हम लोग स्कूल पे और उसके लिए भी एग्जाम देनी पड़ती थी आई रिमेम्बर टू गेट इन टू अ स्कूल इन स्टैंडर्ड वन यू हैव टू गिव लाइक अ रिटर्न एग्जाम इन मैथ्स इंग्लिश एंड हिंदी लाइक अ बेसिक एग्जाम टू गेट थ्रू अ गुड स्कूल सो माई मॉम यूज टू फील वेरी बैड की पता नहीं मेरी इतनी छोटी बच्चे को लाइक like, कैसे कर रहे हैं बट नाउ आई एम वेरी आई एम सो हैप्पी एंड लकी दैट we are here honestly right now i think we are in the best place in the world i would if given a cho- choice i would not want to be in any other country even us or wherever like it scares me even the thought of i could have ended up somewhere else in my life it scares me and i'm so lucky that we are here right now the kind of freedom we have the kind of opportunities we have and it's only growing you know things are i think to a certain extent are getting better as compared to anywhere else in the world and uh, even the last time when i traveled to euro uh, to ukraine was in 2019 i went there with my mom and dad and i think in that trip and this was before pandemic before the war 
and i remember thinking thank god mom we live in india thank god because it felt like wah jitni development honi thi na wo 30 saal pehle ho chuki uske baad se ab cheeze bas kharab hi ho rahi thi because there were the young population is leaving the country because of lack of opportunities there was so much wrong that was going on people were seemed much angrier the economy was really bad and as an adult when you see these things ab fir bahut alag nazariye se in cheezon ko notice karte ho and that's when i thought ki thank god i'm in india because i wouldn't have been doing what i'm doing if i was there and uh, probably even i would be looking at how to get out of this country if i was living there right now so so yeah i think uh, but yeah again back to the question my childhood was definitely amazing because i get, got to experience a lot of travel meet a lot of different kind of people not just russian ukrainian and indian but uh bhilai if you know bhilai bhilai was constructed by russians so wahan pe jab main badi ho rahi thi to about 4 uh, to 5000 russians rehte the 5 minutes away from us there was a russian complex so because of that even my mom always had friends and company around she didn't lose her mind in a new country altogether she had her own set of friends her own set of social life and even so did i like i had the best birthdays i'll tell you mera teen din birthday manta tha मेरा एक दिन का बर्थडे तीन दिन तक मनाते थे एक होता था जिसमें मेरे स्कूल के मेरे सारे क्लासमेट्स आते थे उसमें गेम्स वगैरह होती थी थोड़ा बहुत नाश्ता वगैरह होता था दूसरा होता था जो मेरी बंगाली फैमिली के लिए होता था जिसमें पूरी बंगाली कुजीन बनती थी मतलब अपना मछली सब कुछ सारा सब कुछ बनेगा भात बनेगा सब बनेगा सारा दिन आके लोग टाइम पास करेंगे कजन खेलेंगे आके और तीसरा होता था रशियन बर्थडे जिसमें सारे रशियन बनाते जिसमें पूरा अलग खाना बनता था तो Now I think about it. My mom used to go crazy because so much health be not there. I think for many years my mom worked without a cook, so I have no idea how she managed all of those things. She must be going through hell while while I was having the time of my life. But yeah, I think I like from what I remember, um, I had the, one of the best childhoods, and I think uh, the fact that I have no trust issues, I trust people very easily, and sometimes that backfires is made empty promises. you know like so my mom will tell me do this and you'll get this wo hamesha milta tha mujhe they would always be true to their words and i think that seeped in and i'm like mujhe to lagta hai sabhi jo bolte hain waise hi hota hai but real duniya mein waisa nahi hota so sometimes i tell them also you guys are just so ideal in so many ways that it has taken me so much time to actually understand that not everybody works and functions like that so i think uh, yeah and plus the fact that you know she made it happen like my mom so many times when i was a kid i would tell my mom like why did you marry my dad i mean <laughs> like i wouldn't understand why would a person who used to live there had such a great life would come back and live here for a man that just didn't under- like that was just something i couldn't comprehend so yeah i think um, a lot goes to my parents my dad was one of the most patient people my mom was one of the most enterprising people considering that this was not her own country and uh, yeah it's because of them and they've been supportive they've been absolutely supportive about my career but i would say that ha uh, thoda shaadi wadi ke liye pressure abhi bahut zyada hone lag gaya hai to wo ek jagah hai jahan pe <laughs> we are not seeing eye to eye right now but uh, i i understand where they come from and why their concern is what it is but let's see i mean naseeb sabka hota hai let's see agar mera hoga and things would fall in place maybe i would want to marry as well so why you were working your way to the industry you know the industry is such it tends it has the bad side as well it tends to stereotype a person according to looks and you know uh, we have heard from actors about their uh, you know are inappropriate advances casting couch experiences have you felt uh, Have you been through such moments? Uh, I'll tell you what my instinct game is very strong. Uh, so, ऐसा नहीं है मेरे साथ हुआ है. There are instances where uh, I would be called at a certain time to to a place which is not the office, and those things have obviously happened from time to time. But I would always avoid it. अगर आप उस सिचुएशन में पढ़ो ही ना तो फिर आगे होएगा ही क्या? 
and also that was a big reason that i also stopped acting eventually for some time because the kind of work that was coming my way it was just not right it was the rise of all these ulu app and all that which happened at the time a lot of these kind of shows started getting you know i started getting offered such kind of shows and i was like what is happening i'm there's something very wrong in my life that at this point this is the shit that i'm getting offered so that's why that slow transition from acting to writing and to working in a post production studio happened because i knew one thing mujhe industry to chhod ke nahi jaani hai i love this industry there are stories i want to tell and ekdam se koi mujhe direct karne dega nahi aur ekdam se main produce kar saku waisa bhi mere paas nahi experience hai aur nahi resources hai so what you do you work for filmmakers that you respect you write for them you slowly gradually basically also find your own voice so you know for sure ki kal ko mujhe banana kya hai so i started getting into that path slowly steadily and uh, i think i've just been lucky and also because i've surrounded myself with a lot of actors friends who have been through so much worse that they were always a cautionary tale for me you know they would know like if i'm meeting this person they'll tell me pehle se you know this 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 is that that they will like give me some brief and i'll be like okay ठीक है संभल के मिलो मिलो लेकिन संभल के मिलो ऐसी चीजें होती थी ऑब्वियसली पहले दिस इज बिफोर द होल मी टू मूवमेंट केम इन टू बीइंग आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट वे बिफोर दैट उसके बाद से तो आई थिंक बहुत लोग डर गए एंड इट्स इवन हार्डर बिकॉज नाउ पीपल वुड इवन दे आर टेकिंग अ मीटिंग विथ यू दिल purposely keep the door open so that galti se you know like oh ye ladki mujhe na faza de type because wo sab log darne lag gaye hain itna zyada which is good also i don't mind it as long as it's all professional and it's not really uh, affecting your work but yeah the fact that less women are getting employed especially behind the scenes to write and to be in, work in production and to assist the director that is obviously one flip side that has happened i feel unfortunately post the whole movement but i think that is also changing i think that is changing and at the end of the day your work speaks for itself kitna dabao gaya aisa lagta hai sooner or later people would want to work with talented people and people that have something to offer or something to say so i think yeah also on that note like do you have limitations to doing intimate scenes on screen absolutely not if for the right thing i will like i think as an actor you should be able to bear your soul and bear your body for a character but of course it should come with substance it shouldn't be there just for the heck of it just because you want more people to watch it so like for example mirzapur had some you know certain explicit scenes uh, like rasika duggal for me she is one of my most favorite actors and she is one of the most um, i think one of the most strongest people i have ever met in this industry and she hasn't shied away of anything and today she is getting the respect that she owns because of it kyunki wo dari nahi she didn't do any altu faltu thing but when she did it she did it with a purpose and she did it like a true artist So I think uh, we shouldn't limit ourselves to a certain extent, but sometimes it becomes hard to judge. कि कैसे बनेगा, क्या बनेगा, and that's why I think when it comes to these kind of uh, scenes, you always have to go into the backdrop of it. कि कौन बना रहा है, who's the producer, who's the director, do your R and D, because it's obviously a little harder for someone new to make something even if they're trying to make something authentic but they will not get good actors because sab apna r&d karenge nobody wants to sell them out sell themselves out easily because we live in a certain society and wo cheez hamesha dhyan mein rakh ke chalna chahiye because main kitni bhi modern kyun na ho jaun main bombay mein ek tarah ke kapde pehenti hu but aaj bhi jab main ghar jati hu mera i have a set, different set of clothes that i wear in bhilai not because i am ashamed of what i wear but because ek certain environment hota hai ek certain mentality hoti hai aapko wo respect karna padta hai unless you want to be constantly like dharne pe baith jao aur morcha lagao ki nahi my rights my choice wo aap har jagah nahi kar sakte ho and at the end of the day we all just want to do our work peacefully so i think uh, yeah i have no uh, hang ups as such i would i would if 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 the role that i love is offered to me if it has substance if it has a great story if it has a great team 
walking behind it then i'll i'll, I'll stand naked and i won't care uh so there's one question from uh from your coaching experience you know uh, back then like raghuram and like being auditioned by them uh how how was your experience of meeting them yeah my experience was actually surprisingly very different in fact hamara jo audition hua tha wo dikhaya shayad 10 11 12 minute ka dikhaya hoga that song which they edited but my uh, interview went on for 1 hour 45 minutes actually it was one of the longest interviews that went and i was very sure that i wouldn't be selected because there was no moment jahan pe unka unki awaaz unchi hui ho it was more like a conversation we were discussing books we were discussing authors we were discussing like international cinema it was more like you know having a conversation with someone so uh, even when i got selected and i was on the show I constantly had that imposter syndrome there because मुझे लगा मैं इनके बीच में कर क्या रही हूँ? Because I'm not a person who's into conf- gets into conflicts for petty things. I've always been like a calm person in my life, so I would just not get into fights. I think I was what मैं आधा ही शो खत कर पाई थी. I was uh, we started 20 roadies started and I, after I left there were eight left after me. So I was the 12th person to leave the show. so somewhere in the middle i was gone also and i was quite uh, relieved when i left in a very strange way not because of the show but because i was just done with the vibe and the energy of the people that were there mere ek dost bani thi usme natasha i still remember but uske alawa i couldn't stand anybody so i was literally happy when i got voted out and i still remember raghu and rajiv were such gentlemen because i think they also put up a persona when they are on camera where they're trying to be all whatever you know ba- the bad guys and screw you over it feels like but behind the scenes they are the he's the most gentleman that you can find like he, they took my bags they put them in the car it was just such a nice vibe so and i, I don't know about now but at least an hour during our seasons the, it was not scripted at all you know like we were never told what to do as opposed to what people think most reality shows are scripted today or anything it was not the case at least not till my season i can vouch for because i was in it so i know and um, uh, yeah so <laughs> it was pretty good the entire experience was pretty good and um, i kept in touch with a few of them i'm still in touch with natasha she's a mother she's an entrepreneur now so she still lives in chandigarh but yeah we stay in touch and uh, i got message from her also she saw the show and she quite loved it so they're all they all seem happy for me which is nice <laughs> Yeah. Well, on that note, uh, Susanna, it was lovely talking to you. It was great having you with us, and wish you all the best. Um, Thank you, Sukarna. More good work coming from your way. And yes, today. yes. Hope he was hoping. He was hoping. Thank you, Sukarna. It was great talking to you, and um, yeah, <laughs> and it's amazing that we couldn't really wrap this up in the first, in one video. But I'm glad we spoke some more, and um, yeah, just hoping that going and it also makes uh, converts things into better roles and better work for sure. That is that is the that is what I'll pray for and hope for. <laughs>